Konnichiwa, motherfuckers. Yeah, how you doing, people? It's another episode of the, of the rant. I'm going to try and do something a little bit different this time. You know, sometimes I, get, I think it's a little hectic out there. Thank you for coming along on the journey. It's 2019, bitches. So, uh, yeah, this was a jam. This was a jam. This was a jam. How many of y'all remember this joint? Probably not all. This just dates me. <laughs> but, yeah. I'm at the rhyme on that beat. Uh, let's go ahead and cut that off, though. So, uh, yeah, this is another episode of The Rant. Uh, we're going to do something different this time. Because uh, I know I have spoken previously that I haven't been doing enough comic book stuff. And, uh, yeah. I always envision, envision this as like a comic book slash video game podcast. Not just a video game podcast with politics thrown in on the side. So, it's supposed to be a little bit of everything. So, uh. This is like the new thing that's going to be for the next couple podcasts. Uh, I'm going to basically do like a review of a trade graphic trade graphic novel, right? And so uh, the way that uh, I'm planning on doing this thing to try and keep it fresh in my dome is uh, I want to choose a graphic novel that's universally held as dope that I haven't personally read. And then... Uh, the way I want to do it is like I want to read the issue and then record, you know, the podcast about that issue and then read the next issue and then record, you know, a little bit about that issue until I make it through however many issues that we're going to do. So uh, uh, I chose a Saga of the Swamp Thing that's uh, written by Alan Moore. Uh, I haven't read a lot of his shit, to be honest. I mean, I've read Watchmen. Uh, what else did Alan Moore do? I don't know. But, uh, I haven't read a lot of his stuff. I didn't read, uh, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Uh, I just remember the Watchmen shit. I'm sure he's written some other shit. Oh, you know, like, fucking Dark Knight. A <sighs> whole bunch of shit. I'm just drawing a blank. But, uh, this is gonna be an interesting podcast then. <laughs> I haven't read a lot of Alan Moore, so I'm cho- I chose Alan Moore. Uh, so Saga of the Swamp Thing. So this is like when he uh, jumped on the scene or whatever, started doing comics for uh, DC. Uh, I'm not doing any type of research other than what I can just pull off of the top of the dome when I do this series. And then what, uh, uh, you know, like when I recount the issue kind of do it like a Kevin Smith style, you know, like when he's like, all right, I'm going to give you my review of the movie. And then he literally gives you a fucking blow by blow of the movie. That's what I'm going to do. But about comics and in my voice, which is a lot deeper than Kevin Smith. So, uh, saga, of the swamp thing. I just finished issue one. Uh, I'm not doing it paper. I've gone completely digital. So I've got, uh, the first four trades, of a uh, saga of the swamp thing i got it on comiXology so uh i was reading it on that and then i like to have music playing or whatever when i read my comics so i usually choose like soundtracks and some shit like that so i had the soundtrack to annihilation going on in the background while i was reading saga of the swamp thing uh editor's note that was a dope ass combination I had to save that soundtrack on my Spotify. But, uh, so yeah, so that's generally like the way I read my comics. I'll either do it like on my iPad and then, uh, I'll have Spotify bumping out the iPad or whatever with the soundtrack. Or if I'm just feeling crazy with it, I'll just like Google cast it to the TV and then like have Spotify playing out of the, the iPad or whatever. And then just, you know, swipe it with my phone, but it'll play on the TV through Google Cast. So I'll do it like that sometimes. Uh, but for this right here, I just did it. Whatever. I, I didn't do the TV route now. I felt like I was doing too much. All right. So basically, like, this issue st- starts when I, well, first of all, it's, it was dope. Damn. 
Uh, I'll give it that much. Uh, Alan Moore. Yeah, that shit held up. And uh, Dan Dare. I think that's his name. I'm not going to Google it. Uh, but I want to say that's the name of the artist. Yo, that shit, held, his, his work legit holds up. I even took a screenshot of one of them because I'm going to use it as my screen lock cover. It's like a swamp thing. And it's, it's like all in shadow and you can just see his face and, and he's like grabbing his one dude but he's like yoking him up into the shadow or whatever it was just dope i was like damn that shit was fire yo so uh screenshot of that i i gotta switch it on the phone i'm probably not gonna do that though uh so it starts off apparently yo massive drama has jumped off last issue <laughs> i'm glad that i didn't do any research and uh, I just dive right into it, so I had no I, fu- I had no fucking idea about anything. Uh, the artwork it has that vertical vibe to it, and then uh, like when I like if you were to just show it to me sight unseen, not tell me who it was, because if it was like you know like some random NPC or some crazy shit, I would have been like, oh, I don't know who that is, but that looked like an old school vertical book. I don't know, it just had that flavor to it, but it was still it still held up, and then uh shit what the fuck else well yeah you know, the art's dope the book was dope uh yeah so some definitely some shit popped off i didn't know what the fuck happened but it was like legit so like swamp things like wandering through the forest like on some oh what was me type shit and he's talking about his homeboy arcane and uh at first i was like uh at first i was overthinking it and shit because uh, oh, you know what? Spoiler motherfucking alert. Uh, shit. I did not put the pop filter down on the microphone. So who knows how this one's going to roll. Uh, but what was I saying? Yeah, yo, like massive shit jumped off. And initially I was overthinking it because uh, I know what Swamp Thing is. Even though I have only uh, read, I've only like read one issue of Swamp Thing. And that was when they did the new 52 reboot. And uh, Paniquet, Piquet, I'm not certain how to say his last name. He was doing the art. It was dope as fuck. I only bought the one issue, though. So that's the only Swamp Thing that I, uh, I've read. So I, I came in this motherfucker like. And I, well, I, and then I also know that he's like a plant that thinks that a plant that thought that he was Alec Holland, but he's not. He's just a. No, he was like Alec Holland thought he was swamp thing but he was actually like a plant that thought it was alec holland some shit like that so i already knew that going in but like knowing that going in it's kind of like re-watching battlestar galactica for the second time when that shit was just popping off you know the reboot but now you know who the cylons are ahead of time and so like you're looking at shit like oh oh okay oh he did something shady right there you see what i'm saying you you're looking at it with a new eye so uh, that's how I was like, like over analyzing the first couple of uh, fucking damn. That's a lot of blue sparking up on that uh, equalizer. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, where the fuck was I? At? Yeah, so there was just like mad drama. So it's just like mad drama. Some shit popped off. Fucking his homeboy Arcane. He's dead, and so I'm like. I, I wasn't sure like in the timeline this was I was like is this a horror reboot or whatever so initially I was thinking that uh like this was like a flashback to the origin to like how he died but you know that was just me overthinking it it was just like no just let the, let the man tell a story dude and so I was just like all right and so I did and I was like I was amazed when I let myself get out of the way of myself enjoying some shit because I was overanalyzing thinking I was a better writer but I clearly wasn't so uh yeah, so, they're, they're, you know, he's walking through the forest, blah, blah, blah. He's lamenting that his homeboy died. Uh, it took me a hot minute to realize his homeboy was a villain. <laughs> but fucking, I, I can see it. It was his homeboy. I mean, his homeboy kind of went bad shit. He, you know, got some superpowers or whatever that I'm thinking. And he went insane, wanted to kill some people. But then, like, decided at the last minute that he was going to kill himself instead. And so that's what happened. And, you know, Swamp Thing was all, you know, like, maybe he was right. Maybe, you know, the world doesn't have room for people like me and him. Uh, which is weird that 
that shit would have that tone because I just got finished playing fucking Red Dead Redemption. Uh, and that was like the tone of that video game. Like the like the, the Wild West is, is, is going. It's going bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> like the... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it was... Oh, but uh, yeah. Yeah, it was like the West was, you know, the West was leaving. Cities were encroaching and you couldn't live that Wild West lifestyle no more. You know, it was dead for cowboys. And so that's how Swamp Thing was feeling. It was like after the death of his homeboy, he was like, yeah, but, you know, you are a monster. and I'm a monster, too. But maybe there are no room for monsters. You know, everything shopping malls and shit. I'm, a, I, you know, I, I'm fucking plant, man. They keep chopping us down, you know, but maybe, maybe it's time for me to die. Maybe, you know, I done played my role in things. So that's what he's thinking throughout the whole fucking issue, right? Which, uh, yeah, I, I can dig it. I can understand where he's coming from. You know, he, he just went through some traumatic shit. And then apparently, so then that's when it switches. Uh, I'm, I'm probably out of order with it. But uh, then there's like some government shady types and shit. I liked how uh, Dan Dare was drawing the government shady dudes because initially he kept them in shadow, but it looked like when he was throwing them in shadow and shit, it reminded me, like the art style reminded me of the Prince Valiant comics that used to be in like the Sunday strips when I was growing up or whatever. And they, they were always like hyper detailed and shit, but they had it, it had its own flair and style compared to all the other comics that were in the, the Sunday strip. So like some I don't know some of that shit I was just like oh shit it's reminding me of Prince Valley and this shit is dope so uh but anyway so yeah so they're like yo get to the get to chopper we gotta kill these motherfuckers so they're like some deep covert type cats I'm not exactly certain where they fit in uh they know about Swamp Thing they kept referring to him as a creature the the thing that was previously Alec Holland. <laughs> That was dope, Mr. Moore. <laughs> yeah, so he, they called him that or whatever. So I was like, all right, so they so they know what the deal is. And it seems they're not military because it, it, it seems like Death Squad. I don't know what the fuck they are yet. So I, I just, I'm just this one issue in, so I don't know right now. Um, but yeah, so they, they uh, rounded up the troops. And uh, apparently Swamp Thing was there. So wherever Swamp Thing is at. Like his homegirl and his homeboy, I can't remember their names, but one of them looked like Crystal from uh, the Inhumans with the with the black stripes, but her hair's white. So I kept forgetting her name, and I kept uh, referring to her as uh, Crystal, uh, the mother of dragons, which is how I shall refer to her from here on out. Uh, she is like living with uh, Swamp Thing's homeboy. Uh, I guess they were just friends and he had feelings for, her. I don't know, something, but some went down, I'm of the opinion that there was some fucking sheets getting drenched from fucking, yeah, buddy, I think he was tapping that ass, and I think that she gave it to him, and now he's pussy whipped, and he was just like, oh, we can fucking build a life together, and let her die, we can do this, this, that, and the third, and she is like, slow your roll i only fucked you once and we don't even have shit in common other than horror <laughs> like oh shit nice use of the word horror dude she was like yeah we have nothing in common other than horror you, if you want to go and move somewhere we'll be at each other's throats well apparently he did not feel that way at all and he threw a hissy fit and fucking stormed off that made me laugh <laughs> I was like, oh shit, she done hurt his feelings. <laughs> and then he stormed the fuck off, yo. He was hot in a motherfucker. So I was like, oh, this dude's in love. And then she's like, wait, wait. So I don't know if she's having second thoughts or anything like that. Uh, we gonna find out. Uh, so like, whoever the, the, the murder death kill squad is, they are coming for her, they're coming for him, and they're coming for Swamp Thing, and they're coming like right now. And so, like, uh, these motherfuckers is taking a walk. Uh, Crystal, mother of dragons, and her boyfriend, they're taking a walk. 
And then they get to the house and a motherfucking helicopter come through and shoot a missile and blow up the goddamn cabin. And them motherfuckers is like, holy shit. Well, if the only thing that brought us together is horror, well, our house just got blown the fuck up. I guess we not leaving each other for a long time. That was a vibe that I got off of them too after they, while they were running from the maybe not popo. So, uh, yeah, the maybe not popos. They came through the spot trying to say, uh, like I said, a massive drama popped off in some in the early issues. And so they're coming in, the, the kill squad, death squad, they're, they're hella deep and they're coming in under the guise of fucking national security and that spaceship crash and there's an alien running around and they're telling everybody that the alien is swamp thing and that's who who they're describing the alien looks like and that they're here to kill the alien and then when they ask deeper questions they're just like hold on national security bitch you can't see this not even john cena so Everybody's like, okay, so they're coming through. They go, they blow up Shorty's house. Uh, and then that's when fucking Swamp Thing starts to go John Wick on these dudes. And he is just murdering them left and right. And through this murder fest, uh, he is telling a story about how a beetle and an ant got into a fight. And he was like, the bill was bigger and more powerful and uh, was more cunning. But eventually, it no longer looked like a beetle. It just looked like a bunch of ants, a bunch of ants in the shape of a beetle. And while this is going on in the background, while those are the words, Swamp Thing is just murdering dudes. And then... uh eventually he says uh eventually it's like what what was it you know yeah no matter how strong or how cunning the beetle was it was just too many goddamn ants and then that's when you realize that swamp thing is murdering all of these dudes but the dudes are not stopping and he's just like fuck i don't have shit i don't know if i'm gonna make it out of here you know because it's I'm nigh invulnerable, but they just keep coming no matter how many I kill. And so, like, all of this is taking place, like, in the swamp area. And so, like, uh, the murder squad, they have set up floodlights in a circle where they have Swamp Thing trapped in the middle. And so, uh, Swamp Thing is running and shit, and all he can see is just, like, white light. He doesn't know what it is, but he's, like, he's, like, fucking Frodo when... Frodo got to the top that the top of that mountain where like Gollum had led him to where Shelob fucking lived and fucking Gollum was like either go forward or go back and Frodo was like no I can't go back (laughs) why did I fucking add that in But anyway, yes, that's how Swamp Thing was. He was like, I don't know what's in front. He was like, I don't know what is behind that light, but it's either go forward or go back. And I can't go back. And when he said that, I was, that's what I pictured. And I just said, oh, shit, he had that Frodo moment. He can't go back. He's come too far. And so he busts through the light and was waiting on the other side on motherfucking sharpshooters. And uh, they lit his ass up. He dropped to the ground. They came over and they was like, is he dead? And they're like, yeah, he's dead. And then like the next, the tag for the next issue was a uh, like American autopsy, autopsy, some shit like that. Uh, so I am hella looking forward into fucking, uh, I'm hella looking forward to the next issue. Uh, so basically like that's how this is gonna go so like i'm probably gonna say a little bit more shit and then boom i'll be back with like episode two and then i'm I'm episode two i'll be back with like issue two it's it's still gonna be on this thing right here you see what i'm saying so and i'm gonna do the whole first trade on this episode yeah and so that is how 
this new little comic book thing. I'm not going to do the comic book thing every episode, but I'm probably like maybe for the next four. Next four, I'm going to do it. Uh, what I want to do is uh, pick four trade paperbacks and then each episode do one on that trade paperback and I just break that whole shit down and it'll be something dope that I haven't read. So, uh, all right, I'll catch you on the flip side. Here we go. All right, people. All right, I'm back. All right, so uh, I just finished issue two. <laughs> Damn, yo, for real. This was basically the Swamp Thing movie that they need to make. I heard that they uh, are they making a Swamp Thing movie. I think that's what I heard. More than likely, I'm wrong, cause or no, more than likely that shit got released by DC along with a gajillion billion other movies that they said that they were going to make but never made. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, yeah, this is the movie. If you're going to do a Swamp Thing movie, you do the issue previous and then this one. Damn. So like, uh, <laughs> so like it starts off. And it's like, you know, uh, this dude, he's talking about he's in his apartment. He's looking out the window. It's raining. He got a bunch of futuristic shit all up in the crib, yo. And uh, it's drawn really well. I was like, damn, that shit's dope. And, uh, you know, so he's like going on and on. He's about this old man. I want, He's like, I wonder if there'll be blood. Will there be blood? I don't know. That's what he's saying. He's like, I don't know. Does it matter? Right. And then so I'm like, who, who, who the fuck is this dude talking about? And who the fuck is this dude? Uh, I can't remember his name. But uh, so then he starts flashing back about how he was in prison and this uh, old dude who runs his company breaks him out. I don't know if he broke him out, but somehow he got him out of prison and uh, he wants him to autopsy fucking a swamp thing because uh the last issue they shot him up and he died or whatever so and uh yo kudos to dan dare if he's the one who did this issue i'm not looking it up uh the what do you call it the cryo it's like the cryo tub or something like the cryo chest <laughs> yo that shit looks straight final fantasy like if you if i was to go to like one of them final fantasy dudes and be like draw me Sipperoth being f frozen in a cryo chamber. This is like some shit that they would come back with. I mean, not that detail, but you know what I mean. I was like, damn, that shit looks straight Akira. <laughs> and so that's what he got uh, Swamp Thing's body cryo frozen up inside this old man that runs this company. And so I, I'm gathering that it was his team that went and came and uh, slaughtered everything up. So, uh, the man that, you know, that, that the old man broke out of prison, they never really say the old man's name. They just say they just call him the old man. Right. Because uh, it's being narrated. It's being narrated by uh, the guy who got taken out of prison, who dun, 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 turns out to be the Floronic man, the Floric man. I'm not sure if it's Floronic or Floric. <laughs> if it's Floric, then it's Peter Floric. But uh, yeah, so he's like a swamp creature type deal nothing connected to swamp thing he got his own like plant shit going on with him or whatever so he's super juiced to cut into swamp thing because he's like oh, oh the more i learn about you the more i can learn about myself he's on that type of shit and so like they're trying to figure out uh how the fuck did alec holland become swamp thing because he was working on some type of fucking chemical right that uh and his uh, lab was sabotaged it blew up the chemicals mixed with them there was a fire and then swamp thing came about the fucking swamp or whatever but they're like how did that affect alec holland because the uh, formula does not react to human tissue so they're trying to figure that out and that's why they brought in the floor the floric man the pleuronic man or whatever right so uh He's like, Floronic Man, he's like, I can't figure it out. 
this shit is not good. I can't keep coming back with nothing. He's going to put me back in jail. <laughs> he's like hella worried, yo. And uh, he's uh, taking out his lungs and shit. And he's like, well, you know, they look like lungs, but they don't work. They don't, even if they were lungs for the swamp thing, they still wouldn't work right and so like he's pulling out all types of like kidneys and shit and the heart and the brain you know took son's brain out of his dome you know and he's just like yeah none of these things work right and i don't understand why they're there it's just like something just put it there maybe he, he just couldn't figure it out and then this motherfucker starts uh uh uh, thinking about some fucking worms or some shit. Now, I've actually heard of this study before. So, it was dope that uh, fucking your boy, Alan Moore, used this shit. Now, part of me thinking about that is like, did you really? I've heard something along these lines. I don't know if I've heard about this exact story. When I read it, I mean, this exact example. When I, when I read it, it just seemed, seemed hella familiar. But, like, basically, like, with these type of worms or whatever uh they had this maze and the worms couldn't make it through the maze and so when like one worm would make it through the maze and shit finally they would chop and grind that motherfucker up and then feed him to the other worms and then when the other worms ate him then they could all of a sudden complete the maze when they couldn't before so they were like knowledge can be passed down through uh edibles or whatever not marijuana ones well, I guess if you take too much, you, you're going on a trip. You'll come back with something. Uh, but so he was like, yeah, so it's possible to like eat something and ingest something and then gain the knowledge. And so that's why. He, and so he starts comparing comparing it to uh, like cannibalism when they say eat the, uh, you know, eat your enemy so you can gain their strength or whatever. And he named some of some other shit. And uh, the old man was like, you need to get to the fucking point. <laughs> Cause you're in my office talking about fucking worms and cannibals, and that shit ain't got nothing to do with Swamp Thing, right? And uh, finally, uh, Mr. Floronic Man was like, "No, you don't get it. You don't get it. We keep thinking that Alec Holland turned himself into a plant." He was like, "No, this is a plant." That thing sex Alec Holland. Dun dun dun. Even though I knew that was the motherfucking origin, well, the reboot origin, when I read it, oh, I came off just so perfect. I was just like, damn, I see why you are considered the master craft in your craft. So, uh, the old man was like, all right, cool. Uh, you can go. Right? And uh, Floronic Man, he he sorry he 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 got he caught a little aggro, and uh, he, he came a, he came off a little condescending too. He was like, "Yo, you don't understand what I just said. You know, you don't have the background for it." And then yeah, the old man who name still has not been mentioned in this uh, motherfucking book, as far as I can tell. Uh, he's like, "Oh, I don't have the background for it," and he yeah, he got pissed. He was like, oh, I ain't got a background for a lot of shit, but I'm rich. I don't need to have a background. I just need to have money to hire motherfuckers that had a background. And when I'm done with them, they're fucking fired, bitch. You're fired, bitch. I'm going to go take a piss, and we're going to start termination papers when I get back. Right? And he walks off. He, like, but he said something smart then. Now, this is what I forgot. So, like... Uh, <laughs> Throughout this issue, this old man, they're all in like uh like like his building. Just think think the Fantastic Four Tower, the FF Plaza. You know what I'm saying? So he or Stark Tower or something. So he's like he works out of there. And when everyone goes home for the day, it's just him and there's just no security. And uh, and the Floronic man was like, Yo, you ain't got this this is a big ass building for it to just be you in here by yourself with no security. Uh, with all this uh, fucking equipment you got up in this bitch. And then the guy keeps bragging throughout the whole motherfucking book about how uh, his whole security system is digital. And it could all be controlled from his office and blah, 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 whoop, whoop. And that's why I don't need people and it saves me money and la, 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 da. Right? And so, like, all right, so flash forward. So now we're back to where we were. 
that's kind of like time travel but in reverse though it doesn't matter but uh so yeah so like now we're back to where we were talking about and so like the old man you know he storms out at the feels like he got one up on a floronic dude like yeah bitch i'm firing you oh 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 and so Floronic guy was just like this motherfucker think he got me. He just left me alone in his office and I know how his security system works. <laughs> oh, yes. And like uh, throughout the whole time while he is getting fired. Uh, so like because again, because uh, the old man, he just gives him a speech. He's like, oh, it is fucking cocksucker tried to talk shit to my face. And he just lays into him. But like the fucking uh, Floronic man, this whole time he's like, no, but you got to let me finish what I'm trying to say. He's like, but he won't. He's like, no, but I have to tell you, right? So he says to me like twice. And the old man shuts him down. And so like, so when he storms off and shit, Floronic man, he's talking to himself. He's typing on the keyboard. Right? He's doing some shit and he's like breaking it down. He was like, yeah, but that old motherfucker would have told me not told me that old motherfucker would have listened to me he didn't say motherfucker but you could tell that was the tone that he was uh trying to fucking uh produce right he was like that motherfucker would have just shut up and let me finish i could have told him that since swamp thing is not alec holland and swamp thing is actually a plant you can't kill a plant with a couple of bullets that thing is not dead you, you might be able to shock it shock the system or whatever and then you can keep him frozen and cryogenically your cryo chest or whatever the fuck that was but you didn't kill it and you would eventually have figured it out if you had the right background for it <laughs> I fucking chuckle when he said that shit. <laughs> he was like, you would have figured it out, though, if he had the right background for it. Uh, and so he actually lowered the temperature in the fucking cryogen, the cryo chamber, which then caused all the ice to melt, which then uh, Swamp Thing immediately, blah, 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 he just starts sprouting out the chest and grows him a new motherfucking body. And he is fucking pissed yo and so he's running through the building and then uh oh yeah 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 and so <laughs> and so like yeah another thing uh yeah like in the beginning you know like when he was he's looking out the window and he's just like i wonder if the old wonder if the old man will be banging he keeps saying that throughout the whole the whole book yo because he's narrating the whole joint he's just like I, I wonder how much banging it'll be I wonder how much blood it'll be. Does it have to be blood? He keeps saying that over and over throughout the whole book every once in a while. Right? But it never has any context to it. And then this is where the context comes in. Because now, like, Swamp Thing is running through this fucking building looking for him. And uh, he's... And the Floronic Man is, like, narrating over it. And basically, he's like, you know, uh, we all know that pretty much swamp thing is not a killer there's no there's no deaths actually attributed attributed to swamp thing right and so uh that's like uh and then you see like swamp thing like busting through the room and shit and then finding the old man and the old man's fucking shook and then uh the floronic man is like unless he read my notes <laughs> And I was like oh, 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 oh shit and then it switches right and fucking uh oh yeah yeah he did swamp thing hadn't jumped on the old man yet the old man goes into his office and swamp thing is standing behind the desk and he got his file open and shit right on it because the old man has like a file on him and everything and so swamp thing has a file open on the desk when the old man comes into the office and the old man's like did you read that file are you even smart enough to understand the question and then swamp thing's like yes i read the file <laughs> And so that's when the Floronic man is like, uh, you know, Alec Holland isn't a murderer and neither was Swamp Thing, you know, but that was because, you know, he was like, unless he read my notes, right? And see, so then he was like, yo, because if he read my notes, then he would know that he's not Alec Holland. 
he is just a plant that was infected with chemicals that thinks that it's Alec Holland. And if he's smart enough to read my notes, then he's smart enough to understand my notes. <laughs> and I don't know what that Swamp Thing is able to do or whether he'll murder or not. Something along those lines. And uh, yeah, that Swamp Thing murdered the fuck out of that old dude. He just grabbed his head and like stuck it inside his chest and shit. And I was just like, damn, that is a way to go. I once seen, oh Jesus, this was like way back in the day. Uh, I don't know. This was like in the new Defenders type days when annuals meant shit. Like there was some dude that was on the scene. It was a Spider-Man annual. And, uh, it was this fat dude, and he was his, he was bigger than the kingpin. That was his thing. He was coming to take the kingpin's territory. He was bigger than the kingpin. And fucking the way that they hammered home how big he was is that, like, he took a dude and then pulled his titty up and then put his titty over the dude's head. <laughs> and the guy suffocated. <laughs> Oh my god. What in the fuck did they put in comics back in the day, yo? <laughs> yo, that's a real talk. No, that's a real issue that I read. I still remember. I have no other memory about the rest of that fucking annual. But that scene stuck in my head because I was like, yo, this dude is so fucking big. He murdered a cat with his titty, yo. Oh, man. All right, but so, yeah, you know what? I'm liking the way I'm doing this. Uh, I was trying to, like, bust this shit out in, like, one day. And was like, all right, well, we're just going to read. We're going to read, and then we'll record, and then read, and then record, and then read, and then record. And then, I, yeah, that wasn't happening. That wasn't happening at all in one day. But, so, like, the way that I'm doing it now, I'm just like, I'll read an issue one night, and then I'll record and then, uh, you know, like the next night, I'll read the next issue and then record. And then the next night, I'll read the next issue and record or whatever. So that's how I'm going to be doing these comic book joints. Uh, but so, uh, yeah, so I'm still going to be doing like the regular thing. Well, you, you know, you you won't even be able to tell, really, you know, because like this comic book joint. Yeah, this is one take. This, this is taking fucking forever to record. But I don't know. I like it. It's kind of fun. Plus, I'm reading dope shit. I have a, I have like fucking uh all of these all these comics and shit that I've been buying when they be on sale on Comicsology. But I haven't got a chance to read them, so I'm like really like using this excuse to just like dive into it. You know what I mean? So I've uh so yeah. So this so this entire episode not episode, but yeah, this episode this entire episode is all gonna be fucking Swamp Thing. Uh, that first trade so however many issues is in that first trade and then I kind of have an idea on what I'm going to do with the next episode uh, but I'm not sure because I think I might just do a mini series on that one but I can't I don't know I, oh holy fuck that's what I'll do I just figured out exactly what I would do what I'm gonna do oh but you know what uh, I can't this is a lot of inside baseball, and you can't understand because a lot of this shit is going on in my head. <laughs> no, what I was thinking of doing was a uh, profit because that would be fucking dope to reread and, uh, you know, like do one of these things. But I did say that I wanted to initially stick to books that I haven't already read. So I'll, I'll hold off on doing profit, but I, I'm still I'll do that one at a later date. But these first couple of ones, I want to do, do things that I haven't read. Because I have like a whole bunch of shit in there like that. Uh, but, alright, well that's enough for issue two. Uh, hot sec, and then we'll go ahead and get to the next. Well, not issue two. I don't know. Issue two of the Saga of the Swamp Thing. It's not actually issue two. Alright, peace. After these messages, we'll be right back. All right, people, we're back. Uh, so uh, the next issue, the next issue in the arc, issue three, is a, it's not technically issue three, but the next issue in the arc, uh, it's 
it's uh, continuing the storyline and yet a new jumping on point. I, I want to say, well, not a new jump and on point, but it's like continuing the storyline and like starting the new, the next storyline. Uh, I like the way it flowed together. This one was more about the Floronic man or whatever. And what he's creepy as fuck, by the way. Yeah, dude's creepy. Uh, it was more about him. Right. And, uh, I learned some names. So, uh, like shorty, uh, crystal, the mother of dragons, Ab, Abigail. And then her, that dude, the dude, uh, his name's Cable. Well, his last name's Cable. I don't remember his first name. I was just like, oh, Cable. I can remember that. So, apparently they're married. Did not realize that. But it looks like some time has passed. I don't know how much, but I'm thinking that they were already, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because, like, when she was dissing them that first go around, they were talking about, like, they... That was like the first time that they smashed or whatever the night before. And like the next time that you see them, uh, they're already married. So I don't know. Who knows? But uh, so basically, you know, Floronic Man, he's like narrating some shit, saying creepy shit. And uh, the uh, Abigail and your boy, your boy Cable, uh, they're looking in the forest and shit, right? And, she, and, and your boy's like, look, let, you know, let's go back to the crib, you know, chill a minute. Let's regroup. Let's figure some shit out. And then uh, let's come back out here. And she's like, no, we got to keep looking. We got to keep looking. And she was not. And then that's when you found out. I found out they were married. And then I was like, oh, that's got to be awkward as fuck because they uh, they run into. The Floronic man, Flor the Floronic, Flor whatever, whatever the fuck his name is, that dude. They run into him, right? And so, because, fuck, I'm fucking up the whole story. They're walking through the woods, talking and shit. He's ready to bounce. She wants to keep looking. They come across Swamp, Swamp Thing, right? But he's like all in the, he's like molded into the ground and shit now, like a hobbit hole, you know what I'm saying? And she's freaking out. She's like, oh, shit, there are bugs crawling inside of him. And there, there are, like, flowers and shit growing out of his body. And she's like, oh, no, he's dead. Right? And he's like, and, like, uh, Cable, he's kind of upset, too. But uh, she was like, she was like, oh, I miss him. He was the most generous and thoughtful and loving and caring man, person I've ever met. Meanwhile, like, her husband's, like, standing right behind her. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, damn, I mean, I know she's going through some traumatic shit, but that was some foul shit to say in front of your husband. It's like, oh, I guess he's nothing. But uh, I don't know. So that's when they run into the florotic, florotic. <laughs> that's when they run into the floric man, whatever the fuck his name is. I got to give him a different name. Floronic, the floronic man. Well, they run into that dude, right? And so he's like breaking it down and he's telling them the story of what happened and how Swamp Thing got captured or well, he got shot up, he got captured and he was the one to help release him. And uh, he told them that, you know, the truth about Swamp Thing and whatever. And so she's freaking the fuck out. Oops, sorry. Bouncing away from the mic. She's freaking the fuck out. You know what I mean? And uh, she's like, no, it can't be true. And there's like, fruit or some shit growing off a of swamp thing and like the floronic man is like look you know this shit is growing out of him i wonder if it's edible and uh talk about fucking foreshadowing uh so like they go home your boy's still out there like doing experiments and shit on swamp thing and uh, he's kind of pissed that they showed up because he he's kind of realizing that uh, what, now that they're here, they're going they're probably going to do something with Swamp Thing's body. He's like, that's the fan. Well, that's the way I took it. He, it was just like, fuck, people here, people that are looking for me here and, and they're not going to go away. And I need to continue my experiment so I can figure out shit about myself. But now that they're here, sh I, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So that was the way I was taking it. So, uh, then it switches to like Swamp Thing, right? And 
you would think that he was dead, but he's but he's like going through like a like a vanilla sky type situation. Right. So he even though he's like molded into the ground and he's taking up roots and he's turning himself back into nature, you know, because he's been running around thinking that he's like fucking human and he's at Alec Holland and he's not. And that shit freaks him the fuck out. So now he just wants to, you know, ashes, to ashes, dust, to dust. He just want to go back to what he was before. Now that he knows that he's not human, he can stop trying to pretend. So, you know, that's what he was doing. So, you know, he's molded into the ground, you know, grew roots, but he's not dead. No, no, no. He's on some vanilla sky shit. He's trapped in a fucking uh, dream, you know, so it, it switches that. But this dream's like a fucking nightmare. Ooh, ooh. You know what I mean? And uh, I can barely remember anything about the dream. He was running around right he's like dancing people are there that shouldn't be there he's like yo i didn't i didn't know you at this memory i met you 10 years later and then his wife gets shot and then he's freaking the fuck out and he's and he's walking around with his dead wife and he's trying to find like a doctor or some shit and then he comes across uh, i can't remember what he came across but some something was talking to him and uh the the wife turned into a skeleton and the dude was like i want want alec holland i don't i don't actually think he said anything like that but uh he was just talking to the other dude right and the guy was like look i ain't got nothing for you the only thing that i can give you is your humanity but you're already holding that and so that's when it's that's when the scene switches right and like because before he's been holding his wife and then when the dude says that he looks down and it's a skeleton and he and that is the humanity that is the thing that well this is what i got from it like that skeleton represented consciousness and like free thought and a soul or whatever a soul is and that's and that's what the dude was like i can't give you nothing but your conscious why he was he i can't your humanity he was like i can't give you nothing but your humanity and you're already holding that so if you don't want the humanity, like you keep saying, because, you you know, he's molding into the ground. He's like, well, you got to let go of your humanity. And Swamp Thing doesn't want to let it go. Right. So he takes off running and he's running, trying to get out and shit like that. And blah, blah, blah. And uh, oof. I can't fucking remember. I can't remember the rest of the book. I want to say that that motherfucker. Uh. He snaps out of it at the end. He want it because she like uh because Abigail, uh, Crystal, Mother of Dragons, she comes back and she's crying over the crying over Swamp Thing and begging him to come back and it's like beaming into his dream or whatever. It was oh uh, yeah, it was dope. It was dope. It was dope. Uh, I should have did this yesterday because I read that book yesterday. And then I set up the recording stuff, and then I, I, I don't know, I just went to sleep. I was tired as fuck, yo. So, that's why I can't, I don't know, I should have, I still don't remember the end of the book. I think that is the end of the book, and that's why you don't remember anymore. You know what, nah, it, it, it is what it is. Uh, so, I have no idea how many fucking comics is left in that, uh, is left in that trait. I'm sorry, I'm not speaking in the mic. I don't know how many fucking comics is left in that trade. I'm trying to, well, I'm trying. I am. Oh, that's the wrong thing. I'm going in uh, Comicsology right now to see, like, how many pages are left in that first trade that I'm reading. See, I'm, oh, shit. We gonna, hold on. This look like a lot of fucking issues, dude. Uh, I'm trying to figure out, like... How many fucking issues is in this motherfucking trade? I thought the trade was like four, five issues at most. But uh, I'm thinking it's a fuck ton. Seven issues. Seven or eight issues. Huh. Well, I'm not I'm not doing fucking or do you want to? I mean, you said you were going to do the first fucking trade, dude. 
All right. Well, do, well then I will do the first fucking trade. That's what we said that we're doing, yo. So, uh, yeah, we're still going to do the first trade. I, I thought it was four, maybe five issues, but apparently it's seven. So I, I guess this podcast is going to be a long motherfucker. No, you know what we'll do? We'll break this up into a part one and a part two. Did not mean to rhyme, but that's how dope I am. I do that shit without thinking. Uh, yeah, so like, how many issues did I say it was? 20. All right, so there are eight issues. So yeah, when I get to number four, I'll stop this pack. Oh, I can't talk. When I get to number four, I'll stop this podcast. And then uh, I'll do part two. And then that'll be the other four on the the next one and then i'll just hold off and then release both of these together part one and part two together when they're fully recorded yeah that'll work uh okay so you just got some inside baseball uh all right peoples so i'm i'm out about to go read this next issue i'm probably not going to read that tonight because i feel like that uh since i'm already recording i should probably just go ahead and record the the regular episode of the rant i think i should do that I don't know if I'm going to do that right now, but I probably should. You know, fuck it. Let's go ahead and do it. All right, peoples. Uh, catch you on the backhand side. Well, the next fucking issue. Oh, so there's only one more issue left. Okay. So, yeah, there's one more issue left in this podcast. And then, uh, ooh, that's, well, yeah. All right. So, huh. Okay. I need to do all of this shit offline. You know, you guys don't need to see the method of my madness and it is madness all right people peace